Brackley Town have gone away from uh, Altrincham with all three points tonight. We're talking to manager Phil Parkinson. <laughs> Phil, um, there's only really one place to start there, and it's right at the end of the game. And it was a very, very unfortunate uh, goal that's decided this game. Yeah, it was. It was. It's really difficult to take. Everybody's gone home probably feeling empty, gutted. All the things you feel when you you've had something taken from you that you can sort of see that it was there for us to sort of get a result so it's really disappointing really difficult to take but again if you're going to get beat I'd rather get beat by a Brackley who were up there competing with you obviously we would have liked to take points off them there's no disgrace we're getting beat by a Brackley they're a, they're a top top team and there was nothing in the game and that's why a draw would have been a fair result but the way it happened it was just a series of an error and a mis it was just an error and obviously the bobble on the pitch has taken it away from Tomo and he's absolutely devastated in there and we're just sort of thinking at that point in the game could we have done something different but I'm not going to point anything as the lads have been absolutely superb I mean we got the the look of the roll of the die so to speak with our goal really the deflection and going in so sometimes these things level out but I don't think over the three games we have had much luck I thought against Chorley it was just pure brilliant play and effort Telford had no luck at all obviously a man sent off when he shouldn't have been a slip and a penalty and then tonight and we said to the lads in the top games in the big games those fine margins but that little bit of luck hopefully will will even itself out for us come touch wood if we get in the playoffs um so we for me we still need that three points and we've got three games to get it in and uh we'll, we'll be ready to go we'll regroup as I said, it'll be tough to take, so it'll be about mentally getting ready for um, for Saturday and uh, and going and, and getting them them vital points we need. I think we were the stronger side in the first half and uh, took the lead a little bit fortuitously through Max Harrop's uh, free kick. But as the game wore on, as you'd expect, Brackley came, came at us um, and they had plenty of possession, but we defended very, very well. Yeah, as I said, there was... There was nothing in the game, I thought, first half. I completely agree with you. We had the better of the chances without really dominating the game. I felt the chances we had in other games, we've probably put them away. But again, I can't be critical of the front lads because they've been absolutely on fire of late. So sometimes they go in for you, sometimes they don't. And when they don't, we need to defend well. And I felt we did. It's just a bit of misfortune. And I hope people don't go over the... Uh, too far over the top. I could hear some really negative comments at the end of the game, and you're just thinking, "Come on, these boys have been absolutely fantastic all season." This is the, this is the the point where I've been saying since I've been here for two seasons, when we have a bit of a tough time, and a tough time at Altrincham is when we lose a game, and I know it's hard to take, and people will say it's a silly mistake and a silly decision, blah blah blah. But the top and bottom of it is these things are going to happen in football and it's how we bounce back and we will bounce back. But we need people to, to have a bit of perspective and realise how well these boys have done for this football club. Because I walk around today and all people are saying are superbatives and positives. And as soon as we have a bit of a bump in the road, hey, we deserve all the critics we get if we play badly. But I can count on one hand the amount of times we've played badly since I've been here. So let's stick together. Let's make sure the knives aren't out tonight because it's easy to do that when you lose. It's easy to do that when you're hurting. But how about regrouping, coming together and making sure we give these boys everything because they've given us everything this season. Three games left, nine points to play for. And despite the fact we're four points behind Brackley yeah, now, if we can take nine points from those uh, three games, that puts the pressure on them and the, the other teams out. It certainly does, but I've never been looking at that. I know everybody's looking at third, but for me, a great season's getting in them players. We've been in there all season. I'll be devastated if we fall out at the end, but I've no, I've no sort of mindset of that. My mindset has always been we are going to get in there from what I've seen this season from the boys, unless, unless we get an apocalyptic kind of injury surge from now to the end of the season but I can't see that happening we've got too many big characters in there to let this slip away from us we're talking about one defeat here against a very good team who didn't probably deserve the victory they deserved a draw such as we did so let's not get too down about it let's look at let's be positive getting the points going forward and making sure we cement ourselves in the playoffs in the next three games looking at the teams that uh, are in the playoffs uh, there's very very little to choose between them there isn't and like I said, um, in the top games, there's going to be minor errors and a little bit of luck. And bar Chorley, where we've played outstanding, and you make your own luck. It's, it's funny, isn't it? The harder you work, the more luck you get, uh, or the luckier you get. And uh, I believe we've just been very unlucky tonight. And I feel that, that will even itself out and we'll get a, a little bit of the rub of the green at times. Um, and just uh, 
and we will get over that line. But people have just got to keep believing, as I have since I've been here, and as the majority of people here do, week in, week out. Sticking together is the key. I've said it ever since I've come here. If we do that, we will get our rewards. A couple of injuries uh, tonight, uh, Connor Hampson and uh, James uh, Jones. Uh, can you give us an update on them? Yeah, James was saying he... Uh, Felt like he was a little bit dizzy, he couldn't see. I think uh, Sean Densmore had caught him. Connor Hampson, I think he just got a little bit of cramp in his quad um, and he just felt he couldn't continue. As you could see, I was going to make a change that was going to be more offensively minded because, again, we wanted to try and attack him and, and get that win. Um, but we couldn't do that because, obviously, we had to make two defensive substitutions and I'm glad I made the, the changes to the bench I did because we needed to, obviously, Ben coming in rather than having the keeper on the bench has helped us today. Ben's done uh, very well and generally we defended very well second half. We did. I thought Ben looked like he'd never been away. He's a top, top player and he'll be a big asset for us going into the running. Hopefully James is OK because he's been outstanding for us. We'll have to I'll obviously catch up with him this week. But we have got strength and depth and if anybody shows any weakness now, there'll be another player who'll come in and take that position. Um, but for me, it's just about, as I said, it's sticking together and making sure we've all got the same aim to get over that line together. So there's the thoughts of uh, Phil Parkinson after Altrincham's 2-1 defeat against Brackley Town. Three games to go now, starting with Nuneaton Borough on Saturday, 3pm uh, kick-off at Liberty Way.